Not use the term Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's fine. The camera out there that takes pretty lengthy video, and that's a good one. It's a Nikon and she has made decisions. That's perfectly fine. Some stuff you can buy and pick for that. Yeah, of course, no one is saying you, know, you can't like criticize a local stuff. opponent, but calling them camera, potentially disabled. Camera. I mean, I mean, as I was listening to, to those well, comments, we'll and going back. back and listening to the full context of it, I think even there. Trump himself, as he was speaking in Erie, Pennsylvania yeah. yesterday, called it a, a dark speech in his own words. It wasn't just dark. It was ignorant, it was defaming, and it's quite hurtful to individuals not only who suffer from disabilities themselves, but the families of those. My older brother was born with the umbilical cord around his neck. He has the capacity of a 10-year-old. He That's a cool. Every single day. For my family, that is considered a very offensive topic. Is she eating that again? Trump did. But in addition to that, this is something that hey, is like not beyond the scale before. for him. I don't He's know. Known I've got murder, tons of food in my I can fill that sucker up. Um, throughout history, specifically eugenics history, specifically African-American yeah. history, and we've seen time and again where um, powerful white men try to uh, basically create this idea that black people were less really smart look and brains were smaller. It was even a pseudoscience for a very long time. I think that what we see in Donald Trump is somebody that sometimes media gives a little bit too much credit to. There is a dark history that he likes to invoke. He does it because it's a dog. One day I He's also someone who knows that his words have meaning. He is using this to basically continue the left of that sign, that purple sign, that Trump advance. He's got a hat on. He's partially on this. If he was to do that, if he was to come up with and you know stick to policy, have a conversation about the things he disagrees with in democratic policy. That is fair game. This is a guy who does not want to have a policy discussion at all. There's a lot here. He chose they to go dark. So he chose to go aggressive. He chose to go offensive. And that has nothing to do with the election coming up very shortly, as much as it is the man who we have to do. Does that dog the male does never lose my side. Republicans were thrown down with rhetoric after the assassination attempt against Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the one who continues to amplify that rhetoric. Scott, what do you make of that? Well, I'm surprised to hear somebody say that Donald Trump's responsible for the rhetoric that led to, possibly led to the fact that he was nearly assassinated twice, but we'll, we'll leave that hanging there. The, the reality is I think Donald Trump just attacked one thing. He does want to have a policy conversation. He'd love to talk about the policies that led to inflation. He'd love to talk about the policies at the border. I think he'd love to talk about the policies that gave Joe Biden and Kamala Harris under a 40% approval rating for most of their term in office and make this election a referendum on those policies and whether we need change or not. Those are the correct vectors for him in this campaign, and I think there's some evidence in the polling that it's working. In our own CNN poll uh, that was released last week, 51% of people said that Trump had a successful term. Only 37% said the same of Biden. So if you want to have a policy debate, which I think Trump does, he's on pretty solid ground to do it. Uh, Amisha, though, you, when it comes to this, Harris has taken this tactic of when Trump questioned her race, and when he said other things about her in the past, they're saying, you know, she's not harping on it. She doesn't spend a lot of time on it. She'll mm -hmm. often maybe have a short response and move on. How do you think she should respond, if at all, to something like this? I think she should not. Um, this is a guy who is trying to bait her. He's trying to draw her in. She should ignore it completely. Now, her surrogate, I'm sure, will be out having multiple conversations about it and what it, what it means and how, how deep he is digging and the ridiculousness of this. This is a woman who does not have to defend her pedigree. She is highly credentialed. She is the most credentialed person to ever run for president of the United States. And that's not just for a woman. That's for anyone who has ever run for president of the United States. This is a guy who, before jumping into jumping into the presidential foray, was known for reality TV, was known for his businesses, was known for failing and going bankrupt multiple times over. She doesn't have to defend her intellectual capacity to win. Amisha Cross, Scott Jennings, thank you both for joining. We're going to take you back to the breaking news that is unfolding in the Middle East next with some major updates over the weekend. TV on the edge. Yeah, they Tonight killed that nine, guy that was the head of the Hezbollah. Some days you can fill mm. like a spectator in your own life with chronic oh, migraine. Like 15 or more headache fight days a month, for years each years lasting years. four hours or more. Of years. Botox prevents headaches yep. adults with chronic migraine before they start. And treatment is four times a year. In a survey, 91% of users wish they'd started sooner. So why wait? Talk to your doctor. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection causing serious symptoms. Well, Alert your doctor right Tuesday away. This difficulty yeah. swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, oh, neck and injection good. site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor.
doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. Chronic migraine may still keep you from being there. Why wait? Talk to your doctor about Botox and get in the picture. Learn how AbbVie can help you save. I told myself I was okay with my moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. With my psoriatic arthritis symptoms. But just okay isn't okay. And I was done suddenly. If you still have symptoms after a TNF blocker like Humira or Enbrel, Renzoke is different and may help. Renzoke is a once-daily pill that can rapidly relieve joint pain, stiffness and swelling the in RNA and PSA, release the teeth, and, and stop further joint damage. And in PSA, can leave skin clear, clear or almost clear. Renzoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious huh. infections and blood clots. Some fail. Like cancers, including lymphoma and skin, heart attacks, stroke, and GI tears occur. People 50 and older with a heart disease risk factor have an increased risk of death. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Done settling? Ask your rheumatologist for Renzoke. And take that with yours. Abby could help you save. Meet the Jennifers. Each planning their future through the Chase mobile app. Hello, new apartment. One bank for now. For later. For life. Chase, make more of what's yours. Getting a free field in Subway has never been easier. Just buy any footlong in the app, get another free. The only hard part is, tell us Travis, he doesn't get the second footlong. Wait, seriously? I got you next time, buddy. Operated doctor in the Subway app. If you're shopping for a home, you could browse forever to find everything you want. Or compare home values, lot sizes, or home yeah, care, boo. all at once. Search in full call to find your just right. Most of them may never be the same again. We all know Carrie Lake. She lies about everything. Because to Carrie, there's no limit to what she'll say to gain power. She lied then. I am the duly elected governor.
than 200 Lebanese were killed, 100 Israelis, but Hezbollah survived and became the most powerful force in Lebanon, militarily and politically. So it goes back to the same idea. Israel can't solve every issue by waging more wars and more invasions and more occupation. It has to solve the underlying crisis that exists. And so far, they've chosen to opt for more wars, more expansions, and more and more bombing. And you know, there's something that when I visited Beirut multiple times, I always read on the walls of every refugee camps. The refugee camps I always visited was Sabra Shatila, that basically endured a massacre in 82. The people in Sabra Shatila were civilians. They were guaranteed, they were told that there is, the United States guaranteed their security with Philip Habib, who was the envoy, the American envoy, and yet they were slaughtered. So from that moment, the, the people in Beirut wrote everywhere this sentence, and it's a sentence that belonged to a Palestinian writer, Hassan Khamsani, who said, you can decapitate people. Bodies fall, but ideas endure. And the main idea is that nobody wants to live under military occupation. Well, the question is, what is the path towards a negotiated solution here? Because the fact is, Hezbollah has been raining missiles down on northern Israel since the day after the October 7th attack, to the point that northern Israel is now evacuated, more than 60,000 people. The Biden administration put an enormous amount of dip diplomatic capital into just such a path, and then this strike happened. Is there still a viable path to a negotiated solution between Israel and Hezbollah? Well, there, just to be more accurate, uh, according to an investigation by, by the BBC and others, in the crossfire exchange between Lebanon and Israel, 80% of that fire was actually started from Israel towards Hezbollah. Yes, Hezbollah answered and Hezbollah uh, basically launched missiles on October 8, um, 2023, but it was not to Israel, not to, only to northern Israel, but to the Shiva farm, an area that where there's a military installation of Israel, and, and it's considered an occupied territory. So Hezbollah, and my understanding from the last round of negotiation, Hezbollah issued basically a set of demands. There was a global request and call for a ceasefire. They are willing to do it, and they asked what the Arab League asked, what the Saudi asked, which is to end the mass slaughter of Gaza. Israel decided that they chose basically to expand the war instead of ending the war in Gaza and limit and somehow entering into a ceasefire deal with Hamas or with the protection of the Arab League. Remember, two, two days ago, both the Saudis, uh, the Egyptians and others offered Israel to guarantee their security. And this is the third time they offered to guarantee their security in exchange of one third ending the occupation. Well, part of a longer discussion, we're going to have to leave it there tonight. Uh, Rula Jabil, thanks so much for joining us, and we will have much more, more news straight ahead. Your yard is a sanctuary where you should feel free. No. I was talking about the birds. They need a longer fast than you. In Scots, turf thin and wrapping grass, it's a revolutionary mix of seed and fertilizer. That grows grass two times faster than those seed alone. Giving you a stronger norm. Hey, Sounds. Smell that freedom, eh? I smell it. I'm still talking to the dogs. Download the my one app today. Lawn care tips and customized plans. Feed the dog. Feed it. Meet the Jennifers. Each planning their future through the Chase Mobile app. Hello, new apartment. One bank for now. For later. For life. Chase. Make more of what's yours. Remember, uh, her Not name is Tara, and uh, she got attacked happen. by a cat. You know, she was trying to uh, pull my cat out, and that was, oh my gosh, poor thing, just tore her apart. Wow. If you're shopping for a home, Realtor.com only shows you homes for sale sourced directly from professionals. 
meaning you can trust every home listing is a real listing. Don't all apps do that? Not really. Trust the number one app, Real Estate Professionals Trust. Trains. Who are you? Trains to send what isn't on the schedule. Trains to use the power of Dell AI and Intel to see hundreds of miles of track. Clearing the way. So you arrive exactly where you belong. Hi, Papa. Let's go. It's nice to see you again. is only a phone call away with Fancy Eye Bath and Shower. We can make your ordinary bath and shower extraordinary. This is not a cookie cutter design. This is a complete custom build that will fit your every need. And this goes for seniors and military. I'm Natasha Bergman at the Pentagon, and this is CNN. This is CNN Breaking News. Good evening. You're in the CNN Newsroom. I'm Caitlin Collins in New York, and we start with breaking news this hour, as the death toll from Hurricane Helene has now climbed to at least 93 people. As officials are warning us, that number is only expected to grow. The North Carolina governor, I just spoke with him in the last hour, he says over a 1,000 people have filed reports that loved ones they're 